A one-man scrap can be Metallica's big business. We've got another CEO sit-down with Carlos Aguero. He is the chief executive of Metallica, and he also joins us from the Canaccord Global Growth Conference taking place in Boston. He's here to give us his take on the metals business. Carlos Aguero, welcome to Bloomberg. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Give us a little bit of a sign of the health of the scrap metal business. Uh, let's talk about the ferrous side of the business. This is scrap metal that's got iron content in it. Well, the uh, scrap metal business is uh, pretty healthy right now. The first quarter of this year um, was uh, one of the better uh, periods for us. Um, we had uh, uh, record uh, sales in terms of volume and uh, very good uh, profitability on our first sales. Um, the second quarter was a little bit more lackluster, but uh, we, uh, we, we got through it pretty well, and we're anticipating now going into the third quarter that um, pricing and volume will rebound and we'll be able to, uh, to, to do much better again. Are you seeing competition from overseas, or where is the market setting the price for scrap metal right now? Well, it's a global market. It's set uh, both uh, from uh, domestic consumers and from uh, export demand. Right now, there's a significant amount of export demand in the marketplace that's uh, helping to lift the uh, domestic pricing. But uh, our business is mostly geared towards um, U.S. sales, so we're more focused on selling to, to U.S. consumers, and that's the market that we really participate the most in. Now, Carlos Aguero, you've also had a strategy of making acquisitions. Indeed, you made some recent and uh, acquisitions in western Pennsylvania. Can we look for more acquisitions from the company? Yes, the company has grown largely through acquisitions through its uh, 10 or 11 year history and uh, we expect to, to make some uh, additional ones uh, uh, when the situation uh, uh, lines up in terms of uh, a good strategic target and a, and a good location at a reasonable valuation, but we do plan on continuing to make uh, strategic acquisitions for the company. Now, as someone that's familiar with uh, the recycling issue in the United States, how does that play into the business strategy? taking care of the environment. Well, recycling, as you probably know, is a, a very uh, green and uh, energy efficient industry. Um, uh, you save a tremendous amount of energy when you recycle metal and reutilize it as a raw material for industry. It's a cheaper source of raw material for the U.S. Uh, um, steel industry, the mini mills, uh, as opposed to using virgin ores. Uh, you save uh, about 60 percent uh, energy content when you recycle steel and uh, put it into new products. So it's uh, it has uh, tremendous green attributes uh, in terms of uh, minimizing uh, impairment to the environment from mining the ores and also from uh, emissions into the air as well as uh, consumption of energy. Now you're also uh, focused on recycling catalytic converters. What about the price of uh, platinum? The price of platinum, uh, uh, thankfully, is, a, is at a good level today, uh, approximately around 1550 to 1600 hovering around that level. Uh, it's, it's at a price where, where we can do some business. Um, we recycle not just platinum, but palladium and rhodium, which is the, uh, the content in a typical catalytic converter. Uh, that business has been a good one for us in the first half of the year, contributing nicely to our profitability. And have you seen any changes in, for example, the number of cars that are being junked because people are holding on to their cars a lot longer? Yes, uh, there has been a, d a decline, certainly, in the number of cars that are being junked and, therefore, in the number of converters that are recycled. Uh, the the drop-off from uh, year to year, from 2009 into 2010, is probably in the magnitude of uh, 15 to 20 percent. Uh, but uh, we hope that as the economy recovers, uh, people will buy more new cars and, and, therefore, older cars will be discarded and we'll be able to recycle the metals and the, and the catalytic converters from those.